My name is Hansel Omondi. I'm the founder of Hansel Robotics. Uh, what I do is uh, make robots and uh, I also make home automation systems. Uh, that's using mobile application to control like lights, uh, to control like gadgets in the house, for example, television sets, uh, home theater system to control curtains, maybe to open and close doors and uh, gates. So I do this because uh, it's a hobby. It started uh, a while back. And um, my passion is innovation and, innov and invention in the field of robotics. I started immediately after the Westgate incident, so I've been able to make like HR1 robot HR and HR2 robot. So I'm still improving on the robots, like right now I'm trying to acquire cameras so that I can be able to get live video feedback from the robots wherever they are. I can control them remotely, but uh, at this stage they can move, I can control them remotely. HR2 also responds to voice command, so it's a continuous development. I'm hopeful by um, around August 2015, I'll be having a complete product. This started a while back because uh, I wanted to make drones, but uh, after the Westgate incident, I decided to come up with a system that will enable our security services to access maybe premises that are under attack, for example, the Westgate Mall. Uh, we, we, our security forces had a, had a difficulty in accessing the mall. So with robots, they can control them remotely. They'll have cameras, they can be able to beam back uh, live uh, video images uh, to the security services and from there they can be able to uh, take action maybe to like uh, eliminate the threat, the, the threat that is there. Stan, uh, the robot simply, simply stated, uh, the robots I have, like uh, the robot platform, uh, which uh, runs on Arduino. Arduino is a, is a hardware system that you can program and use it maybe to control uh, gadgets that you want to control. And I uh, also have the, the platform system, the robot platform system has a receiver unit and it, it, it also has a transmitter unit. So basically I'm using PlayStation 2 controller to control the robot, but uh, the control is wireless through radio frequency. So this is a HR2 robot. So you connect the power point on. So that goes this goes here. And then this is the switch. So now it's powering on. Now it's ready to move. Uh, for the for the home automation system, it also runs on Arduino platform. But uh, I'm using my uh, I'm using my mobile phone. That my smartphone. I have an application developed to be able to control like uh, lights, uh, doors through the system. For the communication, it uses either Wi-Fi or it also uses the internet. So that, uh, for example, if I'm at work and uh, I left uh, maybe somebody in the house and I want to know what, he, what he's doing. I can be able to stream in live video images uh, so that I can be able to know what's going on in my home even when I'm away. Uh, the robot can be used for other operations, for example, emergency operations. Uh, if you want to ev evacuate people who are may maybe are trapped in a building or maybe during floods, the robot can be able to navigate and identify where these people are. You can also like mount medical uh, devices, for example, syringes, medication, antibacterial, and to these platforms, so that uh, in case of such situation, they can be able to deliver uh, these uh, facilities or the, med the, the medical kits to these people are trapped, so that they can start uh, medicating themselves uh, before 
uh, they are rescued. So th there are two major challenges. The first challenge is uh, financing because getting components, like uh, buying some of these components is expensive. So I have to work my way out, maybe like uh, generating funds. For example, like what I do currently is graphics design. So I do business cards, I do uh, like brochures, flyers, I also brand t-shirts. And uh, the income I get out of that is what I use to like uh, come up with the, these uh, robots and uh, the home automation system and to purchase the components. The other challenge is uh, getting the components themselves because uh, some of them are not available in our local market. So you have to import some of them and that's also expensive. Apart from that, uh, the education, our education system as it is right now is quite challenging because uh, the education that you get is mostly theoretical in our local universities and colleges so you have to go out of your way to like maybe the internet, Google and try to find material and uh, do it practically. Problem is when you go to the internet get one material, when you're doing it practically, most of the time you get to destroy quite a number of components before you get it right. The robotic industry in Kenya is still growing. Uh, people still don't have that much faith in locally produced uh, products, especially electronic devices. But uh, I believe Kenya and the industry, mostly the industrial part of Kenya, has the capability of designing and producing products that are reliable and that can also be uh, that that can also benefit the society positively. So. Uh, what I'm doing is uh, like a start, I'm sure it's a start of a big thing and uh, eventually I'm hopeful that I'll be able to get like even robot butlers into the house for example, uh, like the home automation system. Currently somebody might look at it and say like okay, he's just using it to control the house. But if you look at it, the bigger picture is if you have a disabled member, uh, a disabled person in the house, who maybe can't reach the switches, who maybe can't move around the house, but he has this help in his phone. He can be able to control anything. He can be able to switch on lights, can be able to control sockets to, or even to control the electronic devices in the house. So apart from that, even the robotics, uh, you can get a robot butler in your house that can be able to assist you in whatever you're doing in your house. For example, like uh, uh, slashing grass or maybe uh, uh, let's say like even washing clothes, dishes, or doing whatever it is. It might look like a long shot, but it is possible because like currently I can be able to control HR2 through voice command. So I believe you can interact with your house, you can interact with any electronic device in your house without having to go operate it physically.